Good afternoon, Terence Baker, Senior Reporter, Hotel News Now, here at the second day of International Hotel Investment Forum in Berlin. I'm very honoured to be with the relatively new CEO of Deutsche Hospitality Group. Thank you very much for your time. Good to see you, Tom, Thomas Wilms. Um, firstly, you came on a few months ago with the new Deutsche Hospitality umbrella in place. How does that help you grow as a company and, and what does that growth mean? The Deutsche Hospitality umbrella is ideal for us because under that umbrella we can build our house of brands. We believe into a brand consistency and reliability and we have three brands at the moment which are clearly defined and under the umbrella uh, we can create new brands under that sort of roof. I did ask you earlier how many brands was enough and you said a few more. Obviously today, five minutes ago, we learned about your new brand, Max by Steigenberger. It's a conversion brand. Please explain what that is and, and how you see the growth of that brand. Conversion brand is a good, uh, is a good name or call it also soft brand. So our Steigenberger hotels and resorts are very clearly defined. It's a traditional brand which is in the luxury and upper upscale market. 60 hotels at the moment on a global scale and intercity hotels 30 years old um, also very strict brand standards near the main stations near hubs of airports and jazz in the city is a new lifestyle brand so we saw there would be space for a brand where we could uh, motivate partners and accept partners under our roof um, the B2B business um, to be to create a new consumer brand which has not as strict standards but it still has obviously fire life safety so minimum standard in the upscale market. So we created Max by Steigenberger adding the Steigenberger suffix to prove the quality we have in that brand. The brand is 90 years old. There's a lot of history and tradition involved and um, so that's why we have now brand number four and we are very proud of it. And you mentioned at the press conference that there will be a mix of individual and group franchisee owners. Um, explain to me how you think that will grow in, in, as you move forward. You haven't announced any yet, you said maybe one by the end of the year? We wanted to get the name out first and um, then announce it by the, by the I think we, we, we are working on a couple of deals but we don't want to announce it before the ink is dry. So franchise and managing is the, the contractual model mainly and as you know Germany is still a very unbranded environment, so about 70% are yes. unbranded family businesses. So we have so many requests uh, luckily from, from owners, from partners who want to join us, be part of the, the big group and uh, which we had to tear down. We couldn't accept them, they didn't fit in the concept, not in the standard, size-wise, location-wise. So now we have a brand which is much more open and uh, that's why the conversion of a family business uh, is nice. We need the nice, the right partners and the right owners, but we, um, we are sure that we will find them. Steigenberger Hotels and Resorts is probably your best known brand. You have the other two already established, um, Intercity and Jazz um, Hotels. Uh, tell me about the Intercity Hotels because it seems to me with the rise of China's infrastructure um, b purchases in the last year or so, that they're concentrating on this one road, one belt policy we hear all the time. It looks like the classic railway hotel might be coming back and you've been there for a while now I mean how do you see that developing? Well train being on a train in Europe is something much better than in the US um, and the trains are positive uh, if you look at France and look at Germany and the main stations which are establishing so already 30 years ago we saw that so the Steigenberger group was always very good in innovation so already at that early stage we created a joint venture with the Deutsche Bahn um, and our first hotel was in Frankfurt and uh, our new flagship will also open in Frankfurt with 400 rooms so the average size is about 150 to 200 rooms and jazz in the city it seems to be a, a brand that um, perhaps is growing a little less fast. Is that just because of the nature of the brand and, and, and the, people, the owners you're looking for? Well, starting a brand is, is hard work and you want to get it right. So usually you start with, uh, with owned hotels or leases. You wouldn't start a brand purely on a franchise because you want to make sure you get it right. So the first 10 and 20 are very important and to grow generically is not that fast. It's not that easy to grow fast. With a brand like Max um, by Steigenberger we sign conversions and franchise the hotel are existing so you can grow fast. At the new hotel like brand like Jazz in the city which is a design-led brand very young and cool that takes a little more time. So
So we have uh, two open and one is about to open. So if you do two a year, that's about the space, space we can go. So we can expect to see more, more of that brand. We'd love to beat jazz in every lifestyle city. So there are so many. And after Stuttgart now having the first one in Germany, we are very anxious to, to roll out more. Now you have made your career at Starwood. I mean, what, what, what have you learned from them and, and what, what have you brought to Steigenberger? And how is Steigenberger different? Well, I learned a lot about branding, and I was in charge of Europe about all the brands. Um, I worked, uh, learned about growth, so growing a company and quality. So for me, this is very important to get the existing brands and the new brands right, and to maintain a high quality. And um, and I know about the value of brands. Um, so what is what we have to learn, and which I want to bring into Deutsche Hospitality, is a little more customer relationship management, loyalty programs, knowing your customer. Um, having a digital in our DNA um, and um, and of course besides culture growing and uh, and quality so this is the my, my agenda and that's what I want to work bring from a big company to a smaller company the good thing is we are a little more humble more flexible and faster have a great team and I think we can move things around here faster than in the big uh, corporations uh, and lastly where do you see the portfolio in five years for the entire Deutsche Hospitality company? Always difficult if you quote me by numbers in five years. Um, we will have uh, about 150 hotels by 2020, so that's in two years. And hopefully we will have a number which is something like 300 in the next five years. And concentrating on, on the middle of Europe and with a little bit in Asia, a little bit in, in the Middle Europe, East? Europe, Middle East and Asia is the target, but we have also a joint venture agreement in South America with Intercity growing into uh, Brazil and Uruguay. But um, this is about the target rule. We haven't moved over to the North American uh, part yet, but Middle East, we don't want to go into one country with one hotel. It doesn't make sense. So if we are in Thailand with Bangkok opening our first hotel in 19, we want to have more hotels in Thailand, also resorts. Thomas Films, many thanks. Thank you, Terence. And stay tuned to hotelnewsnow.com for more information about the IHIF conference. Thank you.